think we're going on both. Let's go on in. Okay, you know what time it is. Tessie Juice Show. Yeah. No computer. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to the Tessie Juice Show. It's a pleasure to be here today um, talking about one of my favorite things to talk about, which is juice. Um, yoga, I would say yoga and juice are like my top two things, favorite things to talk about. Um, Oh, thank you for the hearts, whoever is hearting me. <laughs> Sweet, can't really tell who's. I'm gonna wave at all of you guys. Yeah, cool. Okay, um, so yoga and juice are my two favorite things to talk about, and why not talk about juice on our yoga channel? Here we are. Um, so today's show is going to be kind of like a yellow theme. It wasn't really intentional. I just kind of kept picking ingredients that were yellow and uh, it just all kind of worked out together nicely. So today's ingredients are lemon, half a lemon. You could do a full lemon. You can do no lemon if you like. An opal apple, which are a little bit um, harder to find. They don't come organic at HEB, which is kind of a bummer. So this is a non-organic opal apple. I always say to get um, organic apples, but um, sometimes you just have to deal with what you get. Um, yellow bell pepper, organic. Ginger. And rutabaga. Rutabagas are one of my new favorite ingredients um, to juice because they are a little bit sweet, a little bit spicy. They're kind of like a sweet potato in the sense that they're going to make the juice kind of like um, almost more like creamy. Like if you've never juiced a sweet potato, you'll understand. They're so awesome to juice. Um, but like root, and I like always like to throw in like some sort of a root vegetable in with my juices. And um, rutabaga is the winner today. Um, so yeah, let's talk a little bit about the benefits. Um, oh, hey Mike. Hey Brandon. Hi. <laughs> Hi everybody. Cool. Um, okay, so lemon is high in vitamin C, and which is good for your immune system. So we've been talking a lot about vitamin C the last year, but um, as you, the more you watch the show, you'll realize that so many natural ingredients have vitamin C in them. So yeah, you can take supplements, but definitely it's best for your body to get your vitamins and minerals from real food. Um, okay, so lemon also um, helps prevent anemia, helps prevent kidney stones, um, really good for your digestive health, and also good for weight control too, if, if that's something that is important to you in your life. Um, and then ginger, we talk a lot about ginger and lemon, so um, we're not going to go over those too much today, but uh, ginger is anti-inflammatory, um, lowers blood pressure and cholesterol, and is actually really good for long, shiny hair. I was just having this conversation with someone the other day about how ginger is really good for your hair. Um, so yeah, and also ginger is really good for digestion. Um, ginger increases saliva production um, in your mouth, which in turn helps you digest whatever is in your body. Okay, um, apples, opal apples. Um, 
This opal apples are surprisingly kind of expensive, even though they're not organic. Um, but they're really tasty. They're really sweet. So, like, they're even sweeter than red apples. So I wanted to use an opal apple specifically with this um, recipe because a lot of the stuff in here is not super sweet. It's kind of like, like the um, pepper is going to be kind of like very earthy, and same thing with the rutabaga. And the ginger, of course, is going to be spicy, and the lemon's going to be tart. So I was like, let's throw a little bit of sweetness in there with the opal apple. Um, apples have prebiotic effects. Um, so in other words, they promote good gut bacteria. Um, and I also use apples mainly because of the way that they taste. And they're hydrating as well, too. So all fruits and vegetables are, are very hydrating. So it's important if you have a very active lifestyle to get your fruits and vegetables in for hydration purposes as well. Um, okay, last but not least, well, we have two to talk about. So the, the pepper, I'm glad there's a huge plane driving over the, over my roof. <laughs> Screwing up a show, guy, um, or girl, who knows? Anyway, um, so bell peppers technically are a fruit not a vegetable. Um, one cup of bell pepper. This is like a, a, outstanding to me. Um, one cup of bell pepper has over 300% of your daily value of vitamin C. Vitamin C is your immune health. Um, so good. So pepper, most people don't know that about peppers. They think like citrus when they're thinking about vitamin C, but peppers are like a vitamin C powerhouse. So really juice peppers eat peppers whatever but ingest more peppers that's your immune health right there um and one cup also has a hundred percent of your vitamin a intake vitamin a is um, critical for eye health so that's another really good important thing to have um Peppers are also high in vitamins K, E, B6, thiamine, riboflavin, niacin, potassium, manganese, folate. Um, folate, we talk about with red cabbage a lot, but um, folate's really good for um, uh, like certain, certain ways that will, if you're low in folate, how it'll show up in your body is um, lots of gray hair. Um, if you have diarrhea, uh, so like your body could be lacking in folate is, is the thing I'm trying to get across here. So, um, more folate, um, bell peppers are one of the best sources of cancer fighting carotenoids, really good for your skin as well. Um, and they reduce swelling because of the high silicone content. Um, so I mean, just red or any type of bell peppers are really just good for everything. Everything. <laughs> okay. Last but not least, rutabaga. So you're gonna find rutabagas. Um, like this was in like the section of the grocery store where it's like it was like by the greens and stuff. But it's also very similar to like a turnip. So it's gonna be over by like the turnips, the radishes. Um, it might even be over by the potatoes. So if you can't find it, like just maybe even ask someone, but um, rutabagas, they, sometimes they're a little bit more purple. Like you can see the tops kind of like purple, um, but the, the flesh is more yellow. Rutabagas, they're a root vegetable. They're um, in the cruciferous vegetable family, nicknamed the Swedish turnip. Um, one medium rutabaga provides 107% of your daily value of vitamin C. So we're already like killing the vitamin C game with this juice today. I mean, it's going to be like mm, 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 so good. 35% uh, of your potassium. Um, potassium is good for heart health, nerve signal, nerve signaling, signaling, and muscle contraction. And um, 18% of your magnesium, 17% of your calcium. And it's also high in antioxidants, which, which help fight cell damage. And your body is made up of cells. So if your cells are stronger, your body is stronger. Ta-da. Okay. Let's start first by squeezing this lemon. 
by hand into our receptacle. I don't squeeze it right into my cup because usually the top of the cup is really small, so I have to kind of like, you're going to get some seeds when you're squeezing lemon. So you want to be able to access the seeds. You want to be able to get them out. Good morning. And lemon is always good um, to be done by hand. Running it through the juicer makes it taste a little tart. And it makes your hands stronger too, especially if you're a yogi. You do certain postures where you really need a strong grip, like standing head to knee, or if you do like finger stand, where you're like literally standing on your fingertips. <laughs> it's important to have hand finger strength. All right. I'm only doing half a lemon today because sometimes too much citrus is overwhelming. <laughs> But this one will be really good with a full lemon as well, if you like a more tart flavor profile. Now I'm really curious about how this juice is going to turn out because I just made up this recipe. I like literally made it up yesterday. I was like, okay, yes, yes. I knew I wanted to do peppers because I haven't juiced a pepper in a while. And I had a yellow pepper and then I was like, oh, I have an opal apple too. All I have is rutabaga. I was like, oh wow, this is all like yellow stuff. That's kind of how just like my, I guess, creative process happens. I decide on one ingredient that I want to use and then I kind of just build around it. That's kind of how I make my outfits too, which is which is interesting. Like, I'll choose one thing I want to wear. Like, I'll choose my shoes first, <laughs> and then like I'll build an outfit around it. Um, today's outfit is just a nothing too special, just a little like sundress, and it's not vintage. It's retro. It's from the '90s. If you remember, most of you girls, I wonder if you remember that um, brand, All That Jazz. <laughs> That's the brand. It was a pretty popular brand in the 90s. And it's sunflowers. I knew it would go well with the, with the juice color today. I'm going to taste test this opal apple. Mmm. Yeah. Yup, opal apples are so good. Okay, so to cut up the pepper, you're just gonna like stick your knife in there and get the middle part out. Pop it out. Now there's gonna be a lot of seeds in there still. Oh yeah, it's a lot of seeds in there. You'll, you're going to want to remove as much of the white stuff in there as possible because that stuff is bitter when you juice it. And you don't have to be like super particular about like if you were going to like cook with it <clears throat> because you're just going to run it through the juicer. It's going to get going to get smashed up anyways. And you can leave a couple seeds in there too, like I usually leave a few seeds. Do 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 do, here we go. Oh, I always forget to say that my theme song that I would dance to at the beginning, that's um, made by our, one of our teachers at East. His name's Deuce Bennett, and he, he uh, he's a really talented musician and um, talented yogi as well, but he uh, is a producer as well. Okay, I'm running out of space on my cutting board, so I'm gonna start juicing so I can get some, clear some space on my cutting board, and then we'll start cutting up the rutabaga. 
I'm probably not going to use this whole rutabaga, but I might. I don't know for sure um, because I'll use more of it if I if the juice quantity is like not producing a lot of juice. That was a weird sentence. If there's not a lot of juice that has been produced, I'll add more rutabaga. But I plan on using half because this is a big rutabaga. I don't want it to taste all like rutabaga. So we're just going to do probably half. But we will see. That's the cool thing about juicing is that you keep your options open and you don't get too attached to one thing because nature, which is in control of everything, especially juicing, nature is unpredictable. Thank you. Thank you. I got some hearts on that one. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip of my mushroom coffee. Mmm. Um, has like cacao and um, I almost said ayahuasca. That's not the word I was trying to say. It has cacao and what else? Ashwagandha, not ayahuasca. <laughs> that would be a very different show if I, <laughs> if I was drinking ayahuasca. Ashwagandha. Here we go. ginger today because um, I just wanted some spicy ginger in there. <laughs> can, you, can you blame me? <laughs> Hi Lacey! Yay! I'm glad you're watching. Okay, now we have a little bit of space to cut up this root mega. See, it's like yellow on the inside. So bizarre. Let's throw some of this in there right now. Sweet. 
Just throw apple, apple, apple through your machine and then pepper, pepper, pepper. You wouldn't get as much juice from it because it's kind of like the apple would all get stuck together in the machine. You have to have a different texture in there to like cut it up and like mix it up, if that makes sense, um, to pull juice through the juicer. <coughs> That was something I didn't start realizing until like maybe five years into juicing. I was like, oh, okay, like I can't just like throw all of one ingredient in back to back. I have to like alternate, especially if you're using greens. You want to do your greens first and then all of your juicy stuff and then like your stringy stuff at the end, which is like your, um, your ginger your celery, like stuff that has fibers in it that'll get stuck around the plate. Okay, I'm kind of thinking we might do a little bit more with it. Not the whole rest of it, but just a few more slices. Un poquito más. this out into our cup, which already has lemon in it, and then we're going to run the rest of the stuff through on its first round, and then we're going to run the pulp through, and then we're going to drink it, because that's what we do. Fresh juice, I mean, if you can drink it within 15 minutes of making it, oh my gosh. Because the longer juice is exposed to light and oxygen, the more um, the little live bodies in there die off. So you want to keep your juice, um, if you're going to make like a big batch of juice, you want to keep it sealed tight and in a dark space, a cool dark space. But if you can drink the juice like right away, oh yeah. Body is going to thank you. Okay, it's looking good. Here we go. Man, we got ginger left. Okay, now we've ran everything through um, once at least. So now we're going to run our pulp back through because the pulp has a lot of juice in it too. I mean, if you just touch it, you can, it feels wet. So that means that there's still juice in it. We'll run it through once, maybe twice, depending on how it feels after its first go through. Thank you. 
one thing I was just thinking about in my head is that uh, I don't talk enough about water on here. So if you're um, drinking juice, it's, I mean, it's always good to drink juice. But make sure you're drinking, you're alternating with water. So I take a sip of juice, then a sip of water. Back and forth, back and forth. This is really good. It helps your body like acclimate the juice better. Okay, I'm gonna run this poke through once more. It gets faster each time we do the poke. It should feel almost like a sawdust texture um, when it's done, when it's ready to be put in the compost. for a second. Just because it's working hard. That's all the juice we're gonna get today. It smells really good. I'm excited. I have a feeling this is gonna be better than I thought. Better than I predicted. It's hard for me to come across a juice that I don't like. Especially if it's like fresh ingredients. I mean, it's like, what? Fresh just tastes better. Okay, so while this is dripping, I'm going to um, do my toast today. My toast is to drink more water, get more rest, just genuinely take care of yourself and your loved ones around you because your health can be like such an asset, but it can also be such a like thorn in your side too like if you if you wait to take care of your health it's going to catch up with you so it's better to just do it now like ahead of time um or just even if you are unhealthy right now just start just start somewhere like start making more mindful choices of what you put into your body and that that's not just food but like the energy that people have around you um the stuff that you watch on your phone or watch on your tv um, it all affects your mind, your body. It all works together. Do more yoga. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> yoga is good for everybody. No matter if you're a beginner or if you're 75 years old or if you're 10 years old or if, whatever. You get it. Yoga. Okay. Cheers to health. Whoa, <laughs> that's so good. I'm so glad that this is like glass because if it was plastic, I probably would have just broke it. I was like squeezing the glass, it's so good. Wow, that's like five times better than I thought it was gonna be. Whoa, okay, so I definitely taste the opal apple. Like it's sweet, but not like sweet in a like e way, it's like a nice sweet like a fruit sweet and it's spicy there's a lot of ginger in there the rutabaga is spicy too but the rutabaga and the ginger go really well together it has that kick of spice but then it has like the opal apple that like mellows it out and the rutabaga is not just spicy it also is mellow like a potato too so really really awesome and then the pepper has that kind of like the pepper and the lemon work really well together Huh, maybe that's why there's lemon pepper chicken. <laughs> Anyways, the lemon and the pepper go really well together because they're like a brighter, like citrusy note. Um, mm, that is so good. And I think adding that extra bit of rutabaga was a good call because I think it might have been a little bit um, 
on the sweeter side if I didn't do that. It wouldn't have been as balanced, I guess, is what I'm saying. Wow, this is a good one. I really like it. So it was like three-fourths of a big rutabaga, one big yellow bell pepper, one opal apple, um, a pretty big, like two thumbs worth of ginger, and um, half a lemon. Mmm. Oh, love it. Um, hello. You should go buy a juicer. Um, so the kind of juicer that I have is, the brand is called um, The Champion, and it's a masticating juicer, which um, if you look at it, it's like shorter and longer. Masticating juicers, um, they're slow juicers. So you're gonna have to put in some time, but that's just part of it. Um, Cause you have to clean it up and stuff too. And it just generally runs slower, but but the juice quality is better than a centrifuge. A centrifuge juicer is going to be cheaper, so it's a good like beginner juicer. It's probably you can get one for like eighty bucks. Um, I think like even Target carries juicers now, um, but they go really fast and they kind of just like pulverize the fruits and vegetables. So not quite as good of a high quality juice, and you're not going to get as much juice from your produce, but um, some juice is better than no juice. So if you're on the fence, do it. Get a juicer and just start. Start with what you like. And then you can start to experiment the longer you get, um, the longer you juice. You figure out what works well together and what doesn't. And what are your taste preferences. Um, so yeah, my juicer is, like I said, the champion. And it's like about like a $300 juicer. So it's, it's a uh, it's an investment, but it's I use it every day, so it's it's like way more used than not used. So, oh my gosh, hi everybody! So glad that you're here. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, you can follow if you're watching on YouTube. You can follow us on Yoga East Austin's page, or you can follow my personal page, which is Tessa McFabulous. Um, same thing with. If you're watching on IG Live, you can follow me personally, Tessa McFabulous, or my studio, Yoga East Austin. Okay, I'll be back next week with more juicy goodness. Mwah! Love you guys. Thank you for watching. And I will see you soon, hopefully. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel. Mwah!